Twitch. So it's got the right camera. Here we got the right camera. We got the right microphone. Let's play Deploy Optimism on TV. Let's go. All right. Uh, for those of you who are new to this stream or you know have never seen what a seatbelt is before, uh, this is Cheap ETH. If you've heard of ETH, uh, Cheap ETH and ETH are very similar. The main difference is that Cheap ETH is 1000x cheaper or actually if you, if you look on the exchange right now, uh, it's almost, it's almost 8,000 X cheaper to buy. Uh, so cheap ETH is ETH, but cheap, uh, perfect for people who actually want to do things with their ETH and not for fucking speculators who make everything cost too much money. Uh, for this stream, we're going to be having some yerba mate. Some organic yerba mate. It only has 120 calories of sugar. Never drink your calories, boys. Never drink your calories. I don't know why no one's in my chat yet. Yo, come here. Come here. Should I put a spotlight on my face? Ah, my face is lit up. That hurts. Mm. Who's coming to my chat room? Who's coming to my party today? Welcome to my party. Uh, it's not in LA, it's in San Diego. No more parties in LA. Please, baby, no more parties in LA. Ah, that mate, yeah, delicious. Oh. So I think I have a folder already called Optimism. But we're gonna make, oh, we're gonna make cheap optimism. So we're gonna call it cheap optimism. Now, optimism. Cheap optimism. Good morning, 69 operator. Welcome to my chat. Um, so I am going to LA next week to help optimism with their launch plans. And what we're gonna do right now, so I can get familiar, you know, I like to I always like to show up to a job site familiar with the work I gotta do. We are going to try our best to deploy optimism on cheap ETH. And then we're gonna see what we can do with it. Because if cheap ETH isn't cheap enough and you wanna go even cheaper, yo dog, I heard you like L2s, so we put an L2 inside your L2 so you can, you know what I'm saying. Ah. Uh, um, so optimism is, is a competitor uh, to cheap ETH. Uh, it's a much better funded, much more legitimate competitor. Uh, you can tell clearly by cheap eats, uh, cheap demeanor, um, that it's not the most expensive Ethereum. Uh, you can tell that this company doesn't have much funding. Uh, it doesn't. Um, all it has is uh, cheap eat. Ah. Oh, we're on we're on Dev ETH right now. I had to dump all my my my, my hater ETH. Uh, we're back on on cheap ETH right now. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Uh, all what have is pre mine. You are a hater, and that's why you are banned. Cheap ETH does have a pre mine though. I wouldn't just ban someone for saying that, but I recognize his name. He's a known hater of Cheap ETH. We're spending zero time on haters today and all time on people who love uh, Cheap ETH. Because Cheap ETH is, 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 is everything you've ever wanted in Ethereum. It's just like Ethereum, but cheap. Um, am I lifting? Hell yeah, boys. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, you have been working out. Get swole. One time I met this girl and I took my shirt off and she's like, yo, you got a dad bod. And I was like, damn, we gotta fix that. So I started working out, gotta get swole, man. Gotta get swole. I really love the pecs. Uh, a wooga, a wooga, a wooga. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, man, you gotta let even lift, bro. No, it's so true though. You see somebody and they're fat, and they don't, and they got small muscles. You look at them and you're you're like, you have self discipline issues. But you look at someone and they got big muscles and they're in shape. Damn, see that's someone I trust to take care of my money. And that's why. You gotta. All right. Okay. Some ladies like the dad butt. I'm, I think all ladies like muscles. Uh, all right. So this is the Optimism Mono Repo. All the core Optimism projects are located in the packages. Uh, get submodule in it. Get submodule update. Not submodules. Um, so I'm actually not sure. Let's like see what this does if I just yarn install it. So Optimism has a lot of other uh, repositories too, and we might have to use some of them. I guess I don't really understand why. Are there are instructions anywhere for how to deploy this. This is useful. Deploy custom optimistic rollup. Great. Um, okay. So I have some secret instructions here, which I'm not going to show to you guys. So I look like a genius. Uh, okay. Step one, clone the contracts. Well, we were getting there anyway. So let's clone the contracts. Optimism contracts. Uh, so we're taking a break today from the uh, from the bridge. We did do some work on the bridge yesterday. Um, so you can come check out the bridge over here, bridge, uh, which is how we bridge the ETH chain to the cheap ETH chain. But what we're doing today is we're deploying Optimism, which is an L2 solution underneath cheap ETH. So we have contracts here. Let's do a yarn. Um, oh, this says yarn build covan. Well, we don't want any covans around here because we're on the cheap Ethereum network. Let's see where they have the word covan. Build covan. Is that really? Oh, so build covan is just a. Uh, chain ID 69 yarn run. Seems like the only thing that changes is the chain ID. So let's add in just a build cheap ETH and we'll make cheap ETH have chain ID 96. Right, yarn build cheap ETH. All right, and then, okay. So we're gonna have to replace, we're gonna have to set up my private keys. We'll, we'll use the same address I was using for bridge. So this is the one I was using for bridge. We, we have a secret private key, so I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, I, we, fixed the, we fixed the open pilot link. It's fixed. Uh, we, can, we can check to make sure that's actually true. We shipped open pilot 0.8.2. Uh, really big release, you know, it's been a bit since we've done a release. Um, the big thing that shipped in this one was MPC. Now it just takes the points in directly from the model. We used to uh, fit polynomials because the models used to suck, but now the models are getting really good. Uh, 
Should you be buying cheap ETH right now? It depends. Are you buying cheap ETH because you want to use cheap ETH or because you love cheap ETH? Then yes. Are you buying cheap ETH because you think somebody else is going to buy it for more money later? Then you're a fucking speculator and get the fuck out. Why am I using hard hat? What else should I use? All right, let's read bin deploy.js. Uh, relayer private key, deployer private key, sequencer private key. Oh, I see. So I have to set them their environment variables. Oh, that sucks. Um, all right, I know what we can do. We're just gonna, we're gonna move the private keys. We're gonna use the same one that I was using for the, uh, the bridge. Uh, fun bridge. Scripts. Bridge. Uh, no, it's in fun bridge. Wait, what was the private key? This did have a private key, right? Somehow I did this. So I remember I, I, I called it like bridge key or something. You guys remember this from the last stream? Here we go. Bridge key. So now that I'm a JavaScript wizard, we can just, uh, you know, do this stuff like this. Uh, const deploy a private key. Actually, you know we'll just call it private key. Actually, better yet, we'll just call this private key. And then we'll just get rid of these M things. Three URL, okay. So that should do it for the private key. Uh, why add optimism if cheap ETH is already cheap? Because cheap ETH is also an incredible test net for testing all of your Ethereum needs. Um, Okay, so we have the L1 node web3 URL. We can get that right from the cheap ETH web page. It's just cheap ETH that. Uh, oh, chain ID, shit. I think that's the chain ID of uh, cheap ETH, which is 777. Um, Whitelist allow arbitrary contract deployment equals true. Wait for receipts. I don't know why. I'm, I'm just copying a tutorial here. Sorry, I can't show it to you guys. If I, I can if I had a way to like send the thing, but that's a lot of effort, so I'm not going to do that. All right. Uh, let me figure out, where's my face right now? Is my face in the way of stuff? I forgot where my face is. My face is in the way of stuff. We'll put my face up there. Okay. Yarn deploy. Ah, we have to import FS. Mm, bin deploy. Const FS require FS, is that right? You guys know that I'm a JavaScript noob, right? Invalid hexlify. Oh, boys. Boys, we just leaked the private key. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, about that, about that. You better be fast. Better beat my transaction. Yo, who's gonna reorg the network? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we leaked the private key. Everybody, please be polite and don't steal four cheap ETH. If you steal two cheap ETH, you are um, <laughs> okay. It's an invalid hexlify value. Don't please please don't don't steal my two GP. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? When is the crowd sale? The crowd sale is canceled because it's only for speculators. Oh fuck speculators. No, I don't know. Okay. How is that an invalid? Oh, because I have to like strip off the uh It's sending. Is that my transaction? That's my transaction sweep. All right, cool. There's 2.14 cheap ETH you can steal. If you steal two cheap ETH, you're, you're a bigger piece of shit than Jeffrey Dahmer, you know? Uh, all right, JavaScript strip. We need to strip the slash n. We can use dot trim. Oh, oh, that sounds that sounds good. Okay. Well, now that we've added dot trim, we're in lock. It looks like things are going, maybe. And you should go work for Goldman Sachs. That's right. Uh, the other block explorer is better at showing what's actually happening. It's called other block explorer. Are those people stealing my cheap ETH or is it the contract deploying? <laughs> Can we call me cheap attack? <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, so I don't know what's going on here. Oh, yeah, this is, this is doing the deployment, I think. All right, pro tip. I wish this actually like said what it was doing a bit more. I don't think this is cheap ETH beefs. If you're bridged with ETH, does that make us an L2? The bridge is still a work in progress, but yeah. Cheap Vitalik. <laughs> um, okay, I think it's deploying. Wait a second, you know what occurs to me? No, nah, we can't use this. We can't use this because now anybody can fuck with all my contracts. Okay, let's create a new account. We'll call it Bridge2. And then we'll go over to Bridge and we'll send all the money to Bridge2. Send all the money to bridge two, max. See, this is why I'm a no-coiner. All right, now we're gonna go over to bridge two and we're gonna move it over here while we change the private key. Yeah. Settings. How do I have this? Account details, export private key. Type your MetaMask password. Take your private key. Don't show it to any of you streamers. That's right. 
Okay, so now we have bridge two. Now we'll run deploy again where nobody can fuck with my shit. That's right, no more ETH for you to steal. You see my screen. Yeah, you see my other screen. You don't see that screen. Do you see that screen? You don't see that screen. You see what I just did? All right. Let's see how these deploy transactions are going. So this is the first deployment. I, I wish it would show me what it was doing. Uh, you know what, why don't we read the code? Cheap optimism contracts source deploy. Uh, bin deploy, sorry. Okay. Await contracts.deploy. Wow. Oh, wait, no, that is the OVM chain ID. It's the layer two chain ID. No, we messed up. We messed up. It's the layer two chain ID, which is 96. That is what I made, right? Uh, yeah, 96. Deployment take two. <laughs> you can build expensive ETH. Expensive ETH is actually really easy to build. Uh, you guys want to build expensive ETH? We can make it an ERC-20 token. Expensive ETH. Expensive ETH. It's just like ETH, but expensive. Took a while sending a ton of cheap ETH. No, it's deploying now. Thoughts on MEV? Well, Optimism has a good solution for it. No, but I don't really think MEV is a problem. I think uh, like the miners getting that value is fine. I think Optimism is a cute solution, which is you know you can elect the sequencer. We're gonna take ETH down. No, we're gonna coexist with ETH. You guys, cheap ETH is a thousand x cheaper than Ethereum. If we take Ethereum down, we also take down cheap ETH. Um. All right, so I don't know what's gonna happen after it finishes actually deploying. It's gonna, okay. All right, cool. It's gonna write out a file that shows me where all these contracts are. Okay, that's nice. I mean, it's nice to go through this kind of stuff so I can learn like, you know, what real projects look like because I'm having the same problem now in the bridge. Okay, the deployment script will output a JSON object with the contract addresses. Your addresses will be different. Create docker compose.env. Oh, no, 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 I'm not playing Docker, no. No, I'm out on Docker. Okay. It looks like we need Go Ethereum and Batch Submitter. That's not too bad. Um, cheapy Go Ethereum, let's go. So, oh, no, not cheapy, sorry. We need Optimism's fork of Go Ethereum. So Optimism is actually using Geth to process their blocks in the same way that uh, Cheapy uses Geth to process its blocks. And then we're also gonna need the batch submitter, and I'm not running these in Docker, I'm running them in Tmux, because I don't even know if Docker works on the M1. Uh, the batch submitter is the, the thing that actually batches up the uh, the L2. Okay. Yeah, so there's a, there's a script here, not here, no, it's in the Go Ethereum. Uh, 
here we go. So we can just do script start.sh. Okay, our ETH1 chain ID is 777. Um, ETH1 CTC deployment height. Our chain ID is 96. Uh, I don't know what this roll up state dump path is. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, and we'll have to type those addresses incorrectly. Uh, wait, no, we need one more thing, which is they have a, this is, this, this, this file seems out of date. Um, yeah, go Ethereum and batch them. They have one more thing which fetches the, uh, that this thing connects to. Oh, good thing I already, I already played with this stuff a bit, so it won't be too bad. They have some, some TypeScript service, which like indexes all the stuff for them. Yeah, the data transport layer. Actually, let me make sure I don't still have a data transport layer running from the real optimism now. Okay, so we'll get this data transport layer, fun, cheap optimism. How are my contract deployments going? Did they finish? No, this is taking forever. I wish it would like print out and tell me what it's doing. 20 gifts? Wow, B bites back, thank you. Thank you, you have a question. You get a good question. Goku's poem about speculators is the single best thing Goku ever made. <laughs> One day speculator will buy all the air, not to breathe, only for hodl, and everyone will suffocate, and finally speculator will be sad. <sighs> no question this time. Well, I appreciate you. Um, we're all here to party, just like Cheapy. Uh, okay. So you guys, when this goes live, when this prints out these addresses, you're going to be able to see all of my cheap optimism. Um, it's the batch submitter that requires a... Uh, right, let's look at the data transport layer. No, I'm going to open pilot. Data transport layer. Shuttling data from L1 all day. Let's yarn first. Always got a yarn, don't forget your yarn. Um, and then I read the code for this, okay. Yeah, cool. Find their values in the regenesis repo. Main net, one dot JSON. Oh. See my contract addresses. We're gonna have our own better contract addresses on cheapy. Should we submit a pull request for Regenesis on Cheapy? I think we should. We should submit pull requests. Let's, let's get, you wanna to try to get Cheapy upstreamed into Optimism? Um, how does Optimism deter MEV? So Optimism has a, uh, uh, a sequencer election. Uh, I think this stuff's public. Basically the person who submits the blocks is elected and they then can get all the minor extractable value. So, you know, you can pay money to get the token election, blah, 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 blah. Butter is still reliant on nonce. Okay, my deployments are still not done. Uh, but now in this data transport layer, we can copy env example over to env and we need the l1 rpc endpoint so you know that the l1 in this case of course is cheapy uh and i think i have to set up one more thing here the l1 transport address manager which i still don't know because these deployments are still happening wow these They'd be, you know, I'm also going to submit a pull request that prints things out for that. Uh, comma coin is not going to be a thing. Uh, cheap Doge. Why? 
Doge is useless. Cheap Doge is just a thousand X more useless. And you know what a thousand times zero is? Zero. Sorry, I'm not a Doge shell. Doge is a meme. <laughs> I think Elon just does it to fuck with the SEC. <laughs> SEC and the middle word is Ewans. <laughs> the guy's a beast. Uh, Dogecoin is fucking useless. Don't let anyone tell you what. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? Let's Google. Let's Google it because I'm always welcome. I'm always open to being wrong. Is Dogecoin useful? Hmm. Dogecoin is the original meme coin. That's not true. Bitcoin is the original meme coin. Go on. Oh, you can't say Bitcoin's a meme coin. Oh, Bitcoin maximalist. Blah, 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 blah. Um, this is just shilling. Currency like Bitcoin, but kind of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Are my contracts done deploying yet? Yeah, talks Dogecoin is too inflationary. <laughs> Did they do a pre-mine? Ah, <laughs> uh, does Dogecoin have low transaction fees? Okay, they have one dot JSON and two dot JSON. What's master.json? I don't know what master.json is. Uh, but okay, we need to find, in order to get the sinker working, we're gonna need the L1 transport address manager. Uh, do I have any written recommendations to learn in-depth stuff about cheap eats? Yo, there's only one way to learn cheap eats, and that's just to start playing cheap eat. You can go on this great thing called Remix, and you can just play around and remix. You can deploy things to cheap eat, and it's cheap. You know? Wow, this is a lot of contracts. Man, optimism is going to cost a lot of gas. We're still not done. Relayer. Does Optimism have any docs telling me what these things are? So, okay, the deployer deploys the contract. The sequencer, um, but what's the relayer? That's the only one I don't understand. We can even set up a digital ocean instance to run uh, Optimism on Cheapy. Dogecoin and Cheap ETH are similar coins, except Dogecoin is useless and Cheap ETH is useful because you can use it to do all the things Ethereum does. Dogecoin is useless in the same way Bitcoin is useless. Actually, let's Google something. Dogecoin transaction fees. Blockchain. And there was one day that Dogecoin transaction fees cost $692. Yeah, they have like $2 fees. Like this is not. Um... I don't know what an M is, but 
yeah, Bitcoin Cash has has good transaction fees. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of bullish on Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I do, I do, I do hodl some Bitcoin Cash, and then I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be okay with me playing this. I'm sure we don't have to uh, to, to to censor because of this. I, I was looking at Lil Windex, I was looking at that song, and he has this whole series of like Eminem doing stuff, and it's great. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just having a lot of trouble basically not rhyming every single fucking word I think of. Okay, could you give me an example? Your face looks like it's used for Bukaki target practice. Those retarded glasses make you look like the smartest math whiz in Harvard classes. I bet you used to get beat up by jocks wearing starter jackets. Okay, you got okay. well, that's, that's probably good, thank you. You see what I mean? It's fucked. Now, are there any past Trump? Yeah, worth watching. <laughs> Lil Windex is great. Okay, can my contracts finish deploying? This is taking forever. Why did this not happen in parallel? Um, contract info, account code. No, right, well, while we're waiting, we can learn about what these contracts are, maybe. <sighs> Security policy. complicated so complicated my bridge one contract when you compare it to the cheap ETH bridge so I did some work on the cheap ETH bridge it's actually like the bridge itself is pretty much done um, I took some parts from this testimonium project and yeah it's it's 200 lines uh, actually if you guys want to see I can I can, I can do that um, I'll show you the bridge so if you want to run the bridge, this will actually deploy a bridge. Uh, actually, I was testing. The first product that I'm going to ship with the bridge is going to be a product where if you send your Debbie to the Doobie address and you smoke your Debbie, Debbie, for every 10 Debbie if you smoke, I'll give you one cheap ETH. Um, because testing things on real Ethereum is expensive. But here we can deploy we can deploy the bridge for the the ethereum network uh it deploys super easy uh and then that's already syncing uh, optimism seems very complex but so the difference between the optimism bridge and the cheap eth bridge is the optimism bridge does roll up instead of kind of a state election why is this not going Oh, I think it's waiting so it can actually interact with the bridge. Is cheap ETH being slow or something? No, it doesn't look slow. Well, this is live now. So this is the bridge. So you can actually query this bridge right now uh, at this address on the cheap Ethereum network, and you get a pretty good guarantee of what the L1 Ethereum state is because this bridge checks the, um, what this is doing is checking the proof of work. Uh, it checks the difficulty too. So like you import the block header 
and it checks that like the block is, 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 is in the chain, the block header is not in the future, the block is in order, confirm the difficulty is correct. And then it verifies that the SHA-3, it verifies the proof of work was actually done correctly. So it would be really expensive to make a fake chain that fools this bridge. Um, and it works really well from L1 to L2. Still deploying. Um, oh, these 15 seconds? No, so it's that's like the fudge factor uh, in case the chains, in case there's like some time. Basically, you can't submit future Ethereum blocks onto Cheap ETH, which should never happen, but I give it a 15 second fudge factor. I just copied it from Testimonium. Yeah. So this bridge is live now. And then what I'm working on here is the sale contract. It's all to do's right now. But the sale contract is going to let you, uh, you send a transaction on Ethereum, even just to a normal address. It doesn't have to be a contract address. And then you can prove that that transaction is in the block. And if you do that, you can claim the value on the GB network. Uh, so that's how the L1 to L2 bridge works. Still deploying. We need a progress bar. Uh, I'm gonna kill this so we don't we don't send tons of transactions there. Um, okay. So first we're gonna deploy the optimism contracts. Then we're gonna stand up this thing as soon as we figure out what the contracts are. Uh, this thing, the address manager, I guess. Oh, the address manager is probably the last thing deployed of optimisms. Um, yeah, here. Address manager, address manager, address. Await contracts dot deploy. Is, this, is that like a real, like what is contracts? Build source contract deployment deploy. Build source contract deployment deploy. Just take a look at it. Is this like a, this needs a progress bar. I'm gonna file an issue. I'm gonna do it over here when I'm logged into GitHub. Issue. Uh, feature request. Progress bar on contract uh, deployment. Um, ran deploy and while uh, I see the, I can take this over here. While I see the contracts going on to the chain, I just, I don't see anything in, first let's make sure it's not a duplicate issue. Uh, no. See anything in the console. Been hanging for about 10 minutes now. Well, let's say add progress bar to contract point. Cool. Oh, it finished. Great. Okay. So this is the cheap optimism state. Um, I should have actually written a JSON file, right? Well, let's just save it just in case. We'll say addresses JSON. Okay. Um, we need to know the address manager. That's the special one we have to type in over here. Uh, data transport layer address manager. Okay. Um, okay. Let's try yarn build yarn start. Oh, no, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's using the address manager, attempting to find appropriate L1 block height. 
this code is shitty. I already filed an issue about it. Um, Is this like not working in Vim? Redraw time exceeded, syntax highlighting disabled. Ugh. I don't know why it's not working. Let's go over to Visual Studio Code. So I was actually looking over this code. Since I am going to be working with Optimism next week to help them actually get this stuff shipped. Uh, fun, cheap Optimism, batch submitter. Source. It's like frozen. Starting L1 block number, we'll do find, find in all files, starting L1 block number. Great. Okay. It's not in here. Is it not in source? No, it definitely is. Maybe it's not, okay. Open, let's just open all of cheap optimism. Uh, starting on one block number. Okay, here we go. This is the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to kill all of them. What? Good. Die. Uh, so we can just start here at the cheap ETH block. So this is the block where cheap ETH forked. And that should query pretty fast. Mm. Uh, okay. Cheap optimism, data transport layer, yarn build. I think I'm gonna I should make a new repo called cheap optimism that has uh, well let's let's get it stood up first and then anybody can actually be a block submitter on the cheap ethereum network to cheap optimism yeah yo dog I heard you like l2s someone's got to make that meme there's now gonna be an optimism on okay so starting sync so it finds it pretty fast um cool so this was the this was the address sorry this was the block that um the address manager was deployed at and it has like a little script where it finds it okay so let's go over here to script starts uh, yeah i don't know about ctc deployment height cross domain messenger Well, I have a way to get this. So let's look in their real one for mainnet. Is that not any of them? Wait a second. How is this not any of these? Oh, address manager owner address. On L1, use the proxy in 2.json or something? Roll up state dump path. So the address manager owner address I think is this. Uh, our ETH1 chain ID is 777. 
our chain ID is 96. Um, and I think I have to change, well, you know what I can do? Actually, let's just take a look here on Etherscan at this, and figure out how to find the same one on uh, Optima. On, on, on. So this is probably just the deployer address. What is this? This is a contract. Yeah, it's a contract. That's okay. Lib resolve delegated proxy. Lib address manager, lib ownable. See if I can find this somewhere. No. I mean, I guess I'm just confused at like what this cross domain messenger is. And then I assume that if I look on Etherscan, the the uh, the this was deployed at that block. No, it was not deployed at that block. Great. Hey, Cheap ETH works without all that stuff too. You know, we could all just use Cheap ETH. And as long as we all agree, fuck speculators, things are pretty good. So OVM L1 cross domain messenger. Yeah, that's great, but how do I find out? Oh, well, but did I deploy that? Oh, this. So I assume it's not the proxy. See, I guess what I don't understand is why this doesn't match this. But if it's just this, then fine. Uh, or you know what? If you probably, you know, times, do I use the proxy or do I not use the proxy? Proxy is required for upgrades, okay. Well, we don't care about upgrades. Um, proxy sounds like it costs more cheap gas. And cheap gas is cheap, so that is nice. But okay, so we'll figure out what block this contract was deployed at. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Great. Um, that's junk. Okay. Maybe I can see what block it was deployed at if I go to the bridge here. And then I look at these transactions and then I find one set one six seven. No, of course not. Um how do I possibly figure out that deployment height? I don't even really know how to do it. Yeah, well, that's all great to do it on Etherscan. Yeah, that sounds nice, but uh, I don't have Etherscan, right? I'm on the cheap ETH chain. I can't use Etherscan. CTC, uh, oh, you know what? It's probably this, right? Yeah, I use bin deploy, yeah. Probably that. Or uh, did I save the JSON? I'm sure, I mean, I didn't delete it. Did I have to tell it specifically to save the JSON? Console.log, yeah, 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 no, I saved it, it's here. It doesn't tell me to be blocked though. That's probably right. I'm not sure exactly what happens if I get it wrong, but I mean, that's the one that this one started syncing at, so I would assume it's probably pretty good. All right, let's start up the Go Ethereum. I'm a no-coiner, bros. You start holding coins, and then you start, you know, thinking to yourself as a speculator. You know, GME is a speculative asset, right? 
Um, and it's all fun and games until someone's left holding the bag, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay, we set the chain ID. Let's, let's get diff. We set all that stuff. This isn't right. So this state dump path isn't right. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, well, let's go. Let's see if it runs. Let's see if we get errors. Uh, first, we gotta make death. Use 2.json. Well, oh, I can use 2.json, I see. So that's just so it can interact with the contracts, I see. All right, we'll do a build and then we'll change it to 2.json, yeah. If I wanna have transaction fees, ah. This is for the main net, I feel, but either way. Right, script start, let's go. Error starting protocol stack. Database contains incompatible genesis. Have this, new that. Um, what did I not set right? Eth1 chain ID. Oh, RMRF Ethereum Geth. Okay, good point. Good thing I don't have any keys there. Okay, so we have our data transport layer running and we have our Go Ethereum running. Let's go over here and let's try to get our batch submitter running. And then, so the batch submitter is effectively, my understanding is, the miner of the L2. Uh, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna actually have to, we're gonna stand up a digital ocean box. We can use one of the digital ocean boxes we already have, I think. Yeah. We can, we can, we can use one of them that I already have. Uh, and that's really where I should stand all this up and not on my computer. Because we want to have it, we want to we want to provide an L2 solution to the cheap Ethereum community. I understand that cheap ETH is cheap, but what if it's not cheap enough? You know, we can provide the L2 solution right on cheap ETH. It's L3. Okay. Let's go over here with the batch submitter. Have I seen this? Probably not, up.sh. Yeah, I don't want to do the docker, docker. Optimism integration. Oh, no, I have not seen this. This looks pretty nice. Oh, it, okay, I see. It like pulls all the stuff out. All right, all right, all right good. Uh, no, Carl sent me some other guide. Um, why not Docker? I don't know, does Docker even work on the M1? And then like, how do I get into the Docker? And like, I'm not, I'll, I, you know what? One stream, I will struggle with Docker. Uh, I guess I hate Docker less than I hate the JavaScript ecosystem. So, you know, if I can deal with the JavaScript ecosystem, I can deal with uh, Java. Docker doesn't work on M1 good enough. Um, I guess I wouldn't be on an M1 if I did this in the, uh, the cloud. Okay. Batch submitter. All the stuff is done by. Oh, well. Okay. So we know the L1 node 3 web URL is just the classic one from Cheap ETH. Uh, these all look good. The only one that, I, okay, we need the sequencer private key. So I'm gonna do this over here. So you guys can't see my leap private key. Don't 
Don't leak my private key, batch submitter. If you leak my private key, everyone's gonna have access to the uh, sequencer private key combines to the OVM sequencer set in the address manager on L1. Well, I mean, the only private key that it could be is the one, I set all the private keys to the same thing. So it's probably fine. Uh, let's run this and let's see if it'll actually mine some blocks. Okay, yarn build, TSC not found. So we're gonna have to run yarn because we gotta install TypeScript. In this batch submitter, if you like installing dependencies seven million times, consider the JavaScript ecosystem. OBM canonical transaction chain saw. Uh, append sequencer batch, okay. Cool. This bridge so complicated, this bridge so, com oh, but I, you know what would be nice? I can steal this Merkle tree stuff. Um, I'm gonna, I need to put some Merkle trees in my, in my, uh, all right, let's yarn build. I, I need some Merkle tree verifications in my bridge. All right, let's yarn start now, let's go. Package, JSON, no, oh. Command failed with exit error one. Uh, what's, what's error one? Dash B? All right, let's start putting in some print statements because it's the only debugging I know how to do. Batch submitter, exec batch submitter. Okay. Here, does it get here? It gets here, okay. We have batch submitter dot run, run batch submitter. Yo, if someone wants to link that, I will, um, no, exec run batch submitter. Wait, isn't this just a loop by itself? Dot run. Oh, run batch submitter JS, here we go. But it's TypeScript, okay. No, we're back to these Ethereum highlighting. I don't know why my Vim is broken. Let's go over here. Uh, batch submitter, don't click that one. It has a private key in it. Uh, source, batch submitter, batch submitter. Okay. No, it's got to be called exec batch submitter. Source exec run batch submitter. Here we go. In the layer one address manager address. Is that not set in the environment? I don't know. Okay, how does it get that? Oh, I probably have to start it with that. Uh, run exec run batch submitter. I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing. Interface required mvars. I really don't think I have all of these because I definitely don't have the address manager address. It's not getting down here to starting batch submitter. I think it's actually failing on these. Let's see if I can print hello if I do that. Probably yarn build. Uh, okay, so 
So it gets here to hello. I think the problem maybe is here. npm install debug no i'm not npm installing debug uh, export const run okay why does it not get to or do i not have like info log enabled okay debug info debug yarn start great i love javascript don't you starting batch submitter and then it fails okay so it does get there it's not missing any environment variables, but it it fails somewhere. That's still running. That's running. There are required nvars. Each must be set. Well. Let's see what's actually being used. Okay, we're up to starting batch submitter. Let's. Here. Here too. Uh, yarn build. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know if I actually have to yarn build. Okay, so it doesn't even get to here. Oh. Oh, wait, what? That is total junk. <laughs> that was that was terrible. That was terrible. Um, okay. So it's missing uh, an environment variable, address manager address, which I obviously knew, but I didn't understand why it wasn't complaining. Now I understand why, and it's because I didn't enable error. And the errors have to be specially enabled. So now I'm gonna move this guy back over here since I can't let any of you fuckers see the private key. You know what? I have a better idea. I'm gonna remove the private key from there and then you guys can see it. And we're gonna put the private key. Uh, where is that private key? Private, here we go sequencer private key and we're gonna fetch it the same way we fetched it in the data in the in the contract deployment. Um, let's go over there to contract deployment. Here we go. Can I say require can I do this? That sounds nice. Oh who knows though this is TypeScript. Who knows if any of that's going to work. Um, but the good news is now we can edit this without you guys looking at any shit. Uh, and we can put the... I think I just leaked the private key. God. <laughs> if any of you guys actually... If I, if I actually managed to leak the private key... Whatever. You guys steal my two cheapy. Alright. Gotta get the address manager address and stick it in here. And then let's go. We got it, boys. Head out. Yo, you go steal the two cheapy. Alright, sweet. We're in. Okay. Now there's no TXs to submit, but we can submit some TXs. Wait, but I don't have any L2. All right, so so well, let's go to localhost here. But how do I get money onto L2? <laughs> See what I'm saying? I don't have any money.
Look, if you guys figure out how to actually fuck with this stuff, congratulations. Uh, we'll see. We'll see who manages to to steal the cheap ETH. Uh, but wait, okay. So we're on cheap ETH now. Uh, we're playing around with Bridge Two. But so I can go. Wait. So how do I get money? Did I pre mine? Test ETH gateway. Ah, okay. All right. This seems good. Uh, cheap optimism integration tests. Oh, okay, we gotta get private keys again. Who's sick of getting private keys? You know what, YOLO, you guys can see the private key. Don't fuck with me. If you fuck with me. You are worse, you're a worse person than Jeffrey Dahmer. That's right. D2X. Okay, we need the address resolver address, which we can get from over here. We need the L1 node URL, which again is here. This should all kind of be unified. Um, I have no idea which chain ID this is. That's the L2 chain ID, 96. I don't know if we need a target gas limit. I don't know, 100. Mnemonic used to derive keys. I don't have one of those. Okay. Um, so what's the test that I have to run? X domain helpers, test fee payment, test native ETH spec. Yarn test, let's go. WS run not found. Yarn. Wait, did someone already steal the cheap ETH? Someone stole a fucking cheap ETH! Wait, no, no, hang on, let's say. Hang on, hang on, hang on, maybe not. Yo. Yo, I can't believe someone stole the cheap ETH. Yo, you guys are really, you're, re you're really worse people than Jeffrey Dahmer, it's true. Because now I don't have any cheap ETH anymore. All right. Yo, I'm going to send one cheap ETH. Don't steal this one. Guys, it's worth 10 fucking cents. Because <laughs> then we're going to have to redeploy it all again. <laughs> oh my god, you really can't show a crypto private key for 10 seconds. It found incompatible module. Great. 10 cents is 10 cents, my dude. Did my one get sent? These don't even work. Found incompatible module. The engine node is incompatible with this module. Great. Don't steal it. <laughs> don't fucking steal it. No, honestly, we're going to have to redeploy it. We're going to have to redeploy it. Because I know someone's going to steal it, you know? I know that's going to happen. I know that's going to happen. Who's stealing? This guy, who are you? Now you made a new address, think you're all clever. Don't steal the one cheap ETH. <laughs> um, all right, so we have everything running. 
Yeah, remember when my balance was 2.1 and then it was zero? <laughs> It's not an How can I change the private key? <laughs> All right, you know what? We're gonna get started on a redeploy. Um, you know, I'm now thinking if we uh, of course someone stole it. You know, you people are useless. The haters, man. The haters are stealing the cheapy. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, Well, you know what? We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. We are learning, boys. Let's do it again. And this time, maybe if we put in the debug shit when we deploy the contracts. All right. So we're going to make a new address create account called bridge three, create, and then we're gonna fund bridge three. Bridge three can have two cheapies. There, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna get the private key for bridge three. do that deployment again. Mm, how do I do it? I don't know. Oh, it was in that guide that I was reading. So we got we got to put all this stuff in again. We're actually, here I can just find the place I did it. Right, here we go. Chain ID is seventy is ninety six. Allow arbitrary. That's good. But now let's set that debug flag too. And I hope that this will show me the contracts as they deploy if I set this. Who knows. Um, let's take a look at bridge three over on the block explorer. Other block explorer. Nothing's been deployed yet. Okay. In the meantime, let's figure out how these tests work. Uh, unfortunately, it depends on OVM toolchain, which has the wrong uh, if we have the wrong, let's just take this out and see if it still works. Mm, provider also has the wrong node. Provider. Do we need that? OVM toolchain has the wrong node. And now it's not in there anymore. Great. Have we started deploying contracts again? Yes, we have. First contract deployed. Of course, even with the debug, there's no uh, there's no parameters. Um, so we're going to have to change this to not have the uh, private key. Which one had the private key? One of them I just got lazy and started just putting the private key. Look, guys, it's the private key. Uh, this one doesn't have it. I'll we'll have to delete the uh, Ethereum state again. Start the data transport layer. We'll start the batch submitter. That all should be good. 
Yeah. Okay. So that's reading that key. That's good. This is reading this key as well. Actually, this doesn't need a private key. It just needs block names. And this one doesn't need a private key either. It just needs address manager. Okay. Cool. Griefer stole 20 cents. Look, there's two honest ways to get cheap ETH, three honest ways to get cheap ETH. One is to mine it, two is to beg for it, and three is to buy it right here on the exchange. They stole 30 cents, boys. They stole 30 cents. This happened last time. This happened last time I did when I did the Bitcoin Cash stream. People would just steal it. Bunch of stealers. Okay. Let's figure out how to. Uh, one of these this integration tests. You know what? I don't know. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we give ourselves yo? <laughs> Wait, should we, should we, uh, should we figure out, let's figure out how to stick a pre-mine in our optimism just to fuck with Bitcoin maximalists. What do you think? Um, I'm going to be tracking you. <laughs> stole my GB. <laughs> Yo, wait, should we call the San Diego Police Department right now and report the theft of my 20 cents of cheapy? <laughs> uh, no, no, it's it's not it's not Ethereum. It's 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 cheapy. It's it's Ethereum but a thousand x cheaper. Uh, sir, so uh, how much money was stolen? Well, well, 30 cents, but but you have to realize that yo, let's call the fucking FBI, man. Let's get the FBI in here. The FBI is going to come find you. <laughs> we got to get the cyber police. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh... <laughs> the chief eats, please. Yo, one day. SEC boys, yo, cheap Ethereum is not a security. It doesn't have any speculators. It has use. Oh, so it's not like Dogecoin? No, it's not like Dogecoin. Oh, okay. Have a good day, sir. That's how my conversation with the SEC is gonna is gonna is gonna go. <laughs> what are you gonna buy with your thirty cents? <laughs> How's my deployments going? Why is this so slow? Why does it have to deploy so many damn things? Okay. While we're at it, let's figure out how to fund an address. Let's figure out how to get a pre-mine in here. No, okay. We'll have to figure out how to use this gateway. It's not like Bitcoin. It's not a speculative asset. That's right. It's like Ethereum. <laughs> one stolen GB equals one GB. <laughs> um, okay. No, we have to find the integration test that triggers the funding. Test ETH gateway, here we go. Perfect. I don't know, it just actually just looks like this. So if we could just run this, let's just try to run this. Okay. 
Uh, can I remove yarn.lock and then just change package.json? What, what is broken here? One of these things is broken. I don't know, maybe like that one. Okay, let's just try yarn. Yo, cheapy is you can own cheap ETH and be a no coiner. Okay. Great. Dev dependencies, dependencies. Uh, get rid of those. Maybe that'll work. The only test we need to run is this one. No, stop it. What depends on that? ETH TX ingestion, ETH optimism, TX ingestion. Oh, there's a package here and this is okay. All right, you know, let's just delete that package. And then maybe I can even check out package.json. Check out my package. There we go. All right, we're, we have to wait to redeploy again, thanks to fucking Steelers. Still a problem. Um, okay, there's a problem in the X domain. Unfortunately, the X domain is the one we need. Uh, OVM toolchain. Maybe yeah, we can get rid of that. I don't know. You can just put packages in yarn like that. I need contracts and watcher. Actually, all I need to do is call deposit on OVM one ETH gateway. So I think we'll just figure out how to do that. What's this issue? Have I thought about a cheap Ethereum test net? <laughs> uh, oh. We've depreciated the OVM toolchain package. And the package is remaining in this repo. Great. Well, would have been nice if I had that before, but either way. Um... Can I do this? Is this gonna work? Yarn test packages native ETH spec. No. Okay. Get reset head. Get reset our head. Right. We're back to here, and now we're gonna just do this. So let's go. No, I can't just change that because it's the the problem is it's in a it's in a child package that it's pulling from who knows where. Fuck Docker. Um. Oh, you're right. I didn't yarn build. I think that's why it didn't work. Okay. Well, this will work better, and then we can do a yarn build. Okay. Great. There's errors, but they don't seem to be real errors, or they are. I don't know. I don't know. Yarn build. Good thing my waffles are waffling. <laughs> no! No! That looks terrible. 
yarn test this. Cannot find any files matching. Um, cannot read property to hex string of undefined. No, these are not. Okay, because it's probably not packages. Is it like something like this? Cannot find. What if I just do this? Does this work? Cannot find any files matching pattern. What if I put a star there? What is it? Yarn tap. That work? Cannot find any pattern matching. Remove spec TS. From which one? This one? No, I only want to run one test. I can't run all the tests. Cannot find any files matching pattern. Maybe I need to run it with gulp. <laughs> no, I'm not running it with gulp. Set your M if there is an M of example. Oh. That's the old private key. Okay, that's the old that's the that's the leaked private key. Got it. Um No, there's no more cheap ETH giveaways. If you want cheap ETH, you can either mine it, beg other people for it. Where's your reckless lipstick and your South Philly neighbors? Where are memoirs of illegal behavior? Where are the lovesick lines, the no trespassing signs, and after hours trading X-rated favors? Uh, why doesn't this work? Stealers, you know? Stealers, bunch of stealers. <laughs> Thirty. Well, no, look, it's it wouldn't even matter. Like we gotta redo this anyway, because I mean, until we figure this out, it's useless. Okay. So maybe there's some docs for uh, how to run one test. Actually, can I just go into packages, X domain? What if I just do this? Cannot read property to hex string of undefined. works now at least um this is a different problem this problem seems deep inside the ether project in require of mocha or something oh I finished okay so these are the new contracts so let's go back into addresses JSON. Let's go in here. What do we need to set these things up? Okay. So for the data transport layer, which is what we do first, I believe we just need the address manager. Okay. And then we're going to get the block. Uh, Oh, I 
have to clear this database. Where is this database? In DB? Yeah, cool. Okay, so that's probably the block address that we have to put in here. Um, the cross domain messenger address is this one here. Uh, the address manager owner address is actually this guy here. And that all should work if I start it. Cool. We already did the RM, so that's all good. Okay. Now the batch submitter, uh, we're just gonna have to set the address manager address. So that's the only thing that changed. Uh, and here we can just do yarn start. Uh, oh, we gotta do it with all that debug crap. All the stuff that I tried to do here and didn't work here. So just copy that over to my batch submitter and yarn start. Okay, cool. So there's no transactions to submit right now because we don't have any money in the thingy. So let's get some money in the thingy. Um, but until this test works, I don't think we're going to be able to get any money in the thingy. Mm, let's read the test. Something is wrong. Something is wrong with, with, with my TypeScript and Vim. Okay. Cheap optimism. Uh, integration tests. Packages. Cross domain. Negative ETH spec. Chai should work fine. JSON RPC provider. Is that the problem? No. Mocha load file async. Oh, I know what's wrong. I'm sure I have an M in here. Or it's the bottom M. Get contract interface, that's fine. The bigger problem is where are these providers coming from? System. What is this get environment from type, from dot dot helpers? Big L2 node URL with port. Get config from dot dot slash dot dot slash common. Okay. So this is, okay, I see what we have to do. Fun, cheap optimism, integration tests, package is X domain. No. It's just in here. We have to set up this environment. But these should be correct. Uh, okay, the resolver address might be wrong. What's the resolver address? Probably the address manager again. I hate if it's called something else. Yo, stay on topic, chat. Stay on topic. Mm, no, there's a private key in here. It's just not the right one, which should be okay. That's not the problem.
No, it's not the test. I guess I don't really understand what's going on here. Run helpers, CJS helpers. Okay, so it's in helpers that this problem is. Uh, CJS loader, node modules, TS node, X domain, action spec.ts. Uh, optimism URL, this is the problem? L2 node with port doesn't work? Local host, oh! No, okay, it has an RPC for it, it's not the problem. Let's see here. You can command click to go to the I'm not really trying to go to any method. Okay. So both of those actually pass. So it's a lie that that's the problem. What? what? Yo, guys, stop with your bullshit. Nobody cares. Don't get a job with fucking Netflix, man. You know, you're a loser. Like, oh, I want a job with Netflix. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm going to do useful things. I'm going to change the world with Netflix. Yeah. Oh, I've got a grind leak code. Oh, God, grind leak code. Oh, yeah, let's just grind leak code. Do something with your life. Um, don't talk about it here. You know, you want, you want that, you want that new bass shit? You know, get off, get off my Twitch. Bye-bye. Oh, I want validation from Netflix. Oh, I got a job. Oh, don't do something with your life. Go on GitHub, write code. You know, there's lots of things worth doing. Solving self-driving is pretty cool, but. Okay, why doesn't this work? I think actually, you know what? You know, this might even be a simpler problem. Uh, you know what? Let's let's see if we can do. Let's open up a geth console. Where is geth? I built it, right? Yeah. I might just have to create a wallet. Database is v7. I have to create a uh... I have to create a con like this problem almost looks like it's just trying to like like fetch from the no maybe it's it's L1 user private key, L2 user private key. New wallet. This is creating, this is trying to create a wallet. Shouldn't though. I mean, can I just like, what if I just do this? Um,
I guess what I really don't understand is like action spec.ts I have open here and line 25 is not that. Like it still says line 25. Still says line 25. Is it not getting built? You know what? Let's just yarn build TS. This doesn't make any sense. How is it that our action spec TS is on line 25 when line 25 is an empty line. I'm in the right thing. Yeah. You know what? Let's just write a new test and we'll call it noob test. And we'll see if we can run noob test. And we'll just copy and paste what we need. Uh, noob.spec.ts. Let's go. Okay. Darn test noob.spec.ts. Let's go. What? Okay, I don't like that. This, how does noob have a problem? Oh, I'm making you rethink your life. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. How do I get paid off this? Send me, send me three cheap ETH and I'll appreciate you for the three cheap ETH that I had stolen from me. Um, this is bullshit, man. Yarn test is running all the tests. Look at the command. No, it's not. Is it? How do I only run this one? Can I like run like TSC? I don't really know how yarn works. Uh, oh, you're right. Yo, see that guy's paying attention. All right, let's go. At native ETH spec.ts. Oh, yarn mocha. Okay, all right, Mayfield. Yeah, yeah, you know what's up. Okay, cool. Great. Great. This is this is much more reasonable now, I think. Um yeah, object exports, get environment, and set up. We're having a problem here. I mean, this is at least debuggable. Let's just run the noob, noob test. You're right, I, you're right. Mayfield, you know what's up, I could just copy this. All right, let's run the noob test. Noob spec TS, let's go. Does this one work? Yay, I gotta test the pass, okay. Now let's copy and paste. Go over there, that's where I want you, good. Okay, Um. blah, 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 blah. Can I import this shit, does that work? Good, I can import shit, all right, cool. Uh, let's do, we'll call it the gimme L2 ETH quote unquote test. Um, okay. Deposit. Put 
pre-balances, post-balances. We don't actually need a test. We don't care about that. We don't care about that. We do need wherever wait for deposit type transaction comes from. All right, well, let's import that shit. We don't do any withdrawals. Who needs to withdraw? We only deposit. That's right. Money only goes in. Uh, I don't need any pre-balances. I do need this. Uh, so let's just copy that and see where that gets set up. Uh, I've seen it before. I've been learning this stuff, boys. I've been learning this stuff. I've been getting my JavaScript skills up. See, you always got to keep your skills relevant because one day when you know you decide you want to you want to go work at Netflix, it's good to know how to program JavaScript. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, none of this shit exists. Okay, cool. Um, we don't even have an address manager. Uh, this might work. Or maybe that's the thing that breaks. Address manager, where does this gateway interface come from? Get contract interface, eh? Cannot find name address manager. Let address manager equals contract. Yo, I'm learning TypeScript as I do this. Cannot find L1 wallet. We need an L1 wallet. You know, this is how you learn, boys. You just gotta do. Uh, we'll see if we can pull that from the system as well in my before. And then I want gateway interface, get contract interface. Okay, so that's just like making the gateway and then that calls it. I don't actually even need that. I guess I do need the providers. I'm gonna guess I need a watcher too. All right, let's get the providers and the watcher. But I have a feeling that one of those is where it breaks. Yeah, okay, I have the same problem here. So it's actually in get environment that it's breaking. Um, we don't really need, well, let's actually just take a look at what that's doing over here. Um, okay. My L2 node is localhost colon 8535, sorry, 8545, and my cheapy node is this. Uh, we're gonna have to get JSON RPC provider from somewhere. I don't even know what a watcher is. Who trusts watchers? Who will watch the watchers? Uh, good, I already imported that from Ether's project provider. Okay, let's go. Uh, still broken. Oh, because we're still doing that junk. Uh, we don't need to get the address manager from there. We can just get the address manager from here. Though, I guess we want all this. Um, we don't need a config here. We're just gonna do the address manager address here. And it just comes on the L1 provider. So we'll just get rid of that. Copy that here. I mean, look, there's probably more effective ways to do this, but this way you learn. Like I understand now what this stuff is doing. Um, or you know, you can like grind at lead code all day and like maybe get a job at Netflix. Let's make that a new meme that we make fun of on this channel. Uh, let watcher, knit watcher. Do I really need the watcher? I don't trust watchers. Just know who will watch them, you know, nobody knows. Let's just await ovm.deposit. And now we're depositing shit. All right, let's go. Uh, cannot find name system. You know, I think I can actually do this from 
any no okay junk uh cannot find name system that's fine l1 wallet i've never made a wallet before but we need a private key so we can get that from the same place we get it in the data transport layer uh, let me just go in there. That private key doesn't have anything to steal. Sorry, you can't steal. Uh, wait. Oh, the data transport layer doesn't use the private key. What does use the private key? The batch submitter. Um, so I can just copy this. We'll say up here, const private key equals that. Please don't be stupid enough to print it anywhere. Uh, you know what? I have a plan. I'm going to make something called fake bridge key. And it's fake stealing, so you guys can fake steal shit to make sure, you know, we don't get we don't get uh get pwned again. That's right. Um You know, normally I do things like collective punishment and say like, you know, if we get pwned again, I'll have to just do it off stream. But that doesn't work. That doesn't work because of griefers, man. Griefers are like speculators. But, you know, a little different. All right, let's go. Uh, then I can put this private key. See, it looks the fake bridge key. So now if it's like complaining about it, like, oh, well, it's fake. Um, deposit amount 10. I don't really know what 10 is. Is that 10 ether? Probably not. Give me E2. Oh, okay. Insufficient funds. Server error. Okay, good. Let's try it with the real key. Don't print my key. Give me L2 ETH. Woo! Yeah, we got L2 ETH. Let's go, let's go, let's go, boys. Um, okay. So I guess I assume we deposited it into this address. All right. Oh, did someone send me some? Oh, that was very polite of you. Thank you. Wow, anonymous gifter. Uh, all right, let's go over to Mm, zero ETH, eh? So this is this is the the L two network. Uh, let's deposit more than ten. Let's try to deposit a whole ether. So if I do like what is it? One times ten to the eighteen. Is that is that correct? No, one ether is a lot. That's a lot of ether. Let's go one to the sixteen. No, seventeen. Okay, so if we did that right, we expect this to go down to 2 -0. overflow. Huh. We need to make it a big number. One ether number. Oh, that's a good number. I'm gonna get rid of one of these zeros and then we're gonna close that quote. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if that actually sent value. Well, what we can do is we can go into the block explorer. Block explorer, yeah, let's go. Okay, good. So that sent that. From that to this, which I guess is the address of the thing. No. What address is that? Oh, that's just somebody sending it to me. Oh, that's just that's just nice, bro, sending me free ethers. Okay. Um, thank you. I appreciate you. 
Uh, okay, I don't think this is actually sending. We might have to get the watcher to work. Okay. Well, let's just read this code for wait for deposit type transaction. Oh, well, it's a deposit type transaction. Okay, a promise, cross domain message pair. Uh, await L1 originating TX. Console.log res. Oh, this is cool if we can await res. OVM, OVM ETH1 gateway deposit. Okay. So it sent the transaction. It should be from this address. Is there some reason it's not working? Chain ID 777. We're sending it to this address, which I assume is like the L2 value manager shit um, that it finds from the address manager. Yeah, OVM, I assume it's this. L1 ETH gateway, okay. So that's right, okay. Now I'm waiting for it. Maybe it's like reverting or something. No, but if it was bad, it should still show up here, right? Did it not actually submit it to the chain? Uh... I want originating TX. Yeah. What am I doing wrong? Let's get some lights on in here. Got some clapping on lights in this bitch. I'll be clapping all night in this bitch. Uh, let's get a spin drift. Three spin drifts left. All right, why does it just wait? Oh, timeout exceeded. I have a promise Ensure it resolves. Mm. We don't even need an L2 provider here. This is just a normal. Why is this transaction not getting submitted to the cheap ETH blockchain? It should be. Or do I need something else? I, I did this in the bridge. Let's, let's let me just check my bridge. Uh, so no, it's like a way bridge to the headers. Okay, that's exactly what I'm doing. I call this, I, I don't know why this isn't getting submitted to the cheap ETH chain, right? Oh damn, that's a big nonce. Well, oh, that's fine. I guess that's just a number of interactions from the, uh, from that account. It should be fine. Log the await. This is never finishing. I don't think that's ever returning. Like they don't log it here. It's like not working. Is somebody using all the gas? No. 
Why isn't this transaction showing up? Why didn't this transaction show up? Yeah. Okay, maybe that's too much. Let's change the deposit amount back to 10. Doesn't really matter how much I deposit. I don't get it. This should be being submitted to the blockchain. No GB L1. The chain ID is correct. So I'm actually not sure why. Oh, I guess it's just querying the RPC provider. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. This is a normal contract interaction. You know what? I have an idea. Send uh, to this address. Let's send one, let's send 0.01 seeth. Um, let's give it a big gas limit. Oh, MetaMask sucks. I should just be able to type that as a hex data, right? This should work. We didn't even need all that stuff we didn't really need to do. Look, wow, it updated the gas limit, that's smart. All right, let's go. <laughs> Forget writing JavaScript. We got the data. I guess that, that's just deposit. We, we can look at what this contract is too. Uh, let's look up the OVM ETH gateway. Useless. Uh, here we go. Deposit. So I imagine that that's just deposit, external payable. Great. Uh, did that contract interaction succeed? Sweet, it succeeded. Okay. So now if I go to the bridge address on on uh, here, it has no ETH. Hmm. Well. That should get it, right? I mean, this thing should be indexing from the uh, from the thing, right? Because otherwise, how could it know? Let's try like this address. I mean, it didn't, if it didn't work from the bridge, it definitely won't work from anything else. I could have actually sent this from any address though, I believe. Okay, the contract interaction looks like it worked. Man, I wish we had ether scan. Who else wishes we had ether scan, you know? Like rich people with ether scan. All right, log entries here. These things are, this is the deposit. Oh, did I not, no, I deposited real value. Oh, uh, I should say the value of this. Yeah, okay, it has 0.1 seeth value. And how come when I go over to here, there's no, there's no ETH? Give me ETH. Oh, here, processed one transaction end queued event. Oh, uh -huh. it did something. Did somebody else do that? I guess because anyone can interact with these contracts. Yeah, I sent my ETH somewhere and I didn't get any money. 
I want my ETH back. Oh, you know what? I mean, if the same problem that's affecting that other thing is also affecting this, I don't really know how like nonces work and stuff. Submitted batch. Why is the transaction receipt null? Okay, well first let's see if that's actually the the transaction. So this is running on my computer, so we, we can just take a look at it. Origin data. Target is this. So they did say that this thing was the, uh, what's this? Not the address I recognize. Um, all right, here, here's a surefire way to see if it's this, it's that thing. Well, let's just go over here, over to like cheapy. Let's go on to here and let's send to this thing. Let's send like 0 0.01, one gas price, and now let's set the hex data to be that DO3E. I think this is just deposit. Let's see if we get another one. All right, so it interacts with this deposit contract, it gets it. Maybe it has to, you know what it might be? Maybe it has to mine a certain amount of blocks before it can do it. Uh, but here, if we're watching the uh, deposit contract, which is this, yep. Is this only a deposit contract or can I do withdrawal too? <laughs> Before I carelessly sent my seeth to this contract, I should have read it. Um, the L1 ETH gateway is a contract which stores deposited ETH that is used on L2. Deposit. Finalize withdrawal. It's taking so long. Still, still pending. Still pending. 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 Mm. Oh, we have a new pool. Pool Seth Fun Mining Association. Cool. Something's loading wrong? Why this is still pending? It should work eventually. And then, yeah, I think that is it. So I guess this keeps submitting. I guess our problem right now is our submitter. Because we're getting a, wait. Submitted batch. Verifying batch element. Submitting batch, waiting for receipt. Looks like my batch submitter is not working. No, this says we mined a block. I guess the block hasn't shown up yet on L1, and I don't know why that's still pending. Yep. 
Yo, is like Seth Pool not mining things if they have uh No, no one did that. No, the gas prices, no. I don't get it. It's just a normal cheap ETH contract interaction. Showing up here? From no. No. Hmm. Stuck in the mempool? This one succeeded. There's no way for a contract to make this pend. So this has to be some cheap ETH issue. Speed up. All right, we'll pay the fees for more speed. Shouldn't change anything at all, but. The bigger problem is why are these transaction receipts none? I think that's unrelated to the fact that that contract interaction is still pending. Is address manager address. I don't know. Right, let's just control C this and try it again. How come that transaction's not showing up? This one, this one is a nonce of 58. Let me run this again. Why does it have a nonce of 92? Like, is that the problem? Let's add some more debugging to this guy either way. Batch submitter, submit and log TX, resubmission config. Get receipt with resubmission. Why NatM? What's the why NatM? Oh, well, we imported that, so that's good. Uh, send transaction function TX func.
async function contract function. Great. Do we not have logging in? Is that transaction sent? You know, sometimes MetaMask gets into a messed up state. I blame MetaMask for this. I don't know. We don't really care about that. Like you can reset your MetaMask. Uh, either way, none of that's the problem right now. Is that my transaction by chance? Transactions. No, it's just someone sending some cheap ETH. Well, cheap ETH also have sharing. You can share your cheap ETH with whoever. I think we have to figure out what the Y and TNN is. It's fun to sharding. <laughs> GB's version of sharding. Yo. Uh, guys, it's a green screen. How many times we gotta talk about that? Okay, you know what? Let's just try this. I don't trust the Y natm. Let's get rid of the Y natm and just say, const receipt equals uh, TX func. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Await TX func. Let's try it. Oh, expected one argument, but got zero. Oh, we gotta put in the gas prick. One, <laughs> sounds good. What? How is that null? What? Why is that null? Are you using a recent state dump? What's a state dump? Async function, contract function. Okay, you know what? Instead of this, I don't think these things are the problem. Let's figure out where this is being called. In my get config. Oh yeah, I updated it to two. Does that matter? I did update it to two. Yeah, this. Is that right? There's like, this just isn't sending. Um, let's figure out where this is being called. Okay, here we go. TX func. Where's TX func come from? Submit and log TX. Oh. State batch submitter submitted state root batch. No, it should just be, it's not a state root batch. It's just a batch. Cleared queue submitted batch. Here we go. Contract function. Promise this chain contract uh, append sequencer batch. Is that a console.log tx here? Okay, again. Yeah, this looks like it's working. I don't know why it's not giving me a receipt. These things just aren't showing up on the chain for some reason.
that still hasn't gone through. What's happening? We have all these valid looking transactions. Okay, again, let's do it MetaMask. Send to this guy. Here's my hex data. It has no value. Well, I don't understand that gas price. That seems very cheap. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's one. Oh, that's one. Never mind. That's one guay. Uh, I don't know. Let's put the gas limit to that. Gas limit must be at least data. Okay. So that's the data. Let's make the gas limit. Okay. All right, I sent the transaction manually from uh, you know, it's almost like it's just not talking to the right thing. Let's see if this transaction goes through. What is this guy? Okay, cool. So that got mined. Now we have a state update. Great. Okay, I think it's submitted it. I had to do it manually in MetaMask for some reason. But now if we hop back over here, no, give me balance. That's not a TX hash. Okay, there's a second thing that submits a state root batch somewhere. Uh, we'll log that one too, and we'll manually submit that via MetaMask. I don't understand why these aren't being submitted. Um, state root, state root batch, state root batch. Maybe it's a, maybe the gas price? No, but it's, it's like it's getting the wrong knots. It's putting all this junk in the mempool. Yeah, okay, we'll just do it again for MetaMask. Right, we're on cheap ETH, send. We send it to this, probably some like state root crap. This, what's our gas limit? Gas limit is this. And what's our hex data? Our hex data is this. Contract interaction, data, that's great. Let's go. I love MetaMask when it works. I still don't know why holdings is pending, but. So this one's gonna get my, is that the same address? No, we sent it to a different address this time. Um, why would they not be submitting? What gets the knots? Uh, JSON RPC getting wrong knots. So what's the nonce of this? Yeah, the nonce is 59. Up 
extreme debt issue? Yeah, there's just tons of junk in the mempool now. And that's why it's getting the wrong nonce. And like MetaMask is accessing it differently. Okay, either way, that transaction was mine, so let's go. Did we submit a state route? Okay, no state commitments to submit. So we've submitted the state commitments. Now we go over here and there's gonna be no ETH. Come on, come on, homie, I want some ETH. I want some ETH. Oh, Wait, how did it process another one of these? Updating ETH context. We need a block explorer. You know what? I have one. I can use the expedition one, but instead I can change the RPC URL to localhost. This should work, right? Process one state batch appended. Okay, look, we mined a block. It was the most painful block I've ever mined in my life, but we mined it. Uh, and it has one transaction in it. To 42, so maybe this. We mined this one transaction. State batch appended. Yo, look at our block. Aren't you proud of our block? Look at this beautiful block we mined. If we figure out why this is getting the wrong nonce, we can solve a lot of our problems, I think. Is it using some like old version of the RPC software? Well, let's try something else. Let's try to redeploy a bridge. So I know this code works. Satoshi. So how many people we got? Five, five, five. That's not bad. Okay. We have a transaction, but still the bridge has no ETHs. Theory. I can actually change, I can use a different private key here, right? I don't have to use the same one. And I guess this one I do have to because it's the only one that's allowed to submit to shit. Like, why is my contract transaction not showing up? Get clear mempool. Not a great solution, but it works. Um, all right, let's try. 
try this. Because I think my bridge isn't even working now. Like something is messed up in the mempool with respect to that address. And we're going to figure out what happened. Uh, no, okay, this one we can just do vim. Test bridge. Let's open up node, require web three. Cannot find module web three. All right, one bridge, node, we'll require web three. Uh, okay, so let's see w3.eth.pending transactions. Doesn't work. Get pending. Get pending transactions. Can you do that? All right, who knows JavaScript? What do I have to type here? A wait is only a valid in resolve. Node command line resolve promise. Just use dot then. Yeah, good. So I need a function here. Like that. Okay, how does it say there's no pending transactions? Um, web three get nonce. Okay, here we go. Web three dot eth dot get transaction count. Okay, I'll put that in quotes. Okay. Oh, my problem is then console dot log. You're right. That's much simpler. Sixty one. Okay. So if that's 61, how come when I run when I run this, it gives me 125? Does that make any sense to anybody else? It must be submitting it to the wrong chain. Or something's wrong. It's using the wrong web three using some old crap. Maybe it's using old crap. That doesn't explain why my bridge didn't work when I just ran that. But 61 is a reasonable nonce for this address, right? Where is it getting that crazy number from? Yeah, 61. So it should make the nonce be You know what? I have an idea. What if I just go in here? Can I say nonce 62? Already known. MetaMask do it. Not 63. Already known. Replacement fee too low. Why doesn't times two work there? Two times gas price? Unable to compile TypeScript, colon expected. This is 
does gas price come from? Okay, non 62. Is that going to work? Well, let's go look here. Now let's look at the from address. Uh, where's the from address? Here. what occurs to me I can also put that address in here I don't think I'm gonna get a different answer no because it didn't it didn't give me any balance just send some crap to this thing uh, no where is it this guy transactions not 60 Okay, then how is it already known if I put in 61? This is what broke. Something's broken. Not 61 is a broken transaction. Okay, now it's submitted with non 61. Remember when it wouldn't before? Is this going to resolve? Is there some bug in get? Should I restart the RPC server? Can try that. I'm blessed enough to have access to it, but it's not really fair because what would anyone else do? Sync their own node. Good point. They could sync their own node. All right. I gave it not 61. Is this one going to mine? Why did that one not work? Oh, wait, that's not a valid gas price. Yeah, that's not a valid gas price. That might be the problem. What's the gas price here? One GUI. Is that a gas price in GUI or is that... One GUI is one billionth. First, I don't know who put one there. Did I? Oh, I might have done that. Oh, well, that would explain some things. What's the gas price here? Zero. Not one. Let's try zero. And well, first let's try non 60. So I expect it to fail with non 60. I expect that they give me an error and say it's already known. Okay, non has already been used. Okay, that's good. So if I set the gas price to zero, it should be whatever the server gives me. Now let's see if it mines that transaction. Replacement fee too low. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll make it big. Uh, zero, 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 zero. Let's go. Okay. I don't know if that just cost me a bajillion dollars in gas. Ah, look at mine. Look at that. All right. Do we have the same problem over here or is this just a nonce problem? No. Those have a reasonable gas price. Okay. That's probably what broke my shit.
So now we've done another deposit with very little value, but still some deposit. Um, that got mined, so that should be fetched here. Once we get to the block that that was mined in. Let's find which block it was mined in. It was blocked in, mined in 657. Okay, we're nowhere near 657 yet. Oh, I think this waits a few blocks to because of block reorgs. We might even be able to parameterize that. Okay, well, we'll start that thing up again, and hopefully it's not going to submit stupid stuff. So it looks like I broke that by setting the gas price way too low. Good. Fuck off if you're trying to invest in cheap eat. It's not an investment. It's for using. Investing is for speculators. All right. Where are we up to? Um, let me see if I can actually make that go faster. Uh, the data transport layer. Maybe it's in the environment. Um, Synchro L1. Dangerously catch all errors true. Oh, here, confirmation's 12. Uh, I don't know. I'm cool with three. That's a good number of confirmations. Yeah. Then we shouldn't have to wait as long because I'm impatient. Okay. Process one transaction and queued event. So that was my deposit. Um, processing that. And actually, if we go over here to my expedition, that's in. Okay, cool. Look, did we mine another block or what? Submitted. No, it has a bullshit nonce. Why does it have a bullshit nonce? Why? Those are never going to get mined. The nonces are bullshit. I'm going to keep submitting things now. Try this. Nonce has already been used. Oh, that's because I hand coded that nonce. Um, I hand coded 61, but it's still giving me a bullshit one. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I have a theory. You ready for some fun? Four var i in 62. I less than 128. No, this is stupid. This is stupid. I don't want to play this. Why is it giving me bullshit nonsense? Where did it get the nonsense from? Nonsense equals zero. Where are those console dot logs? Here. Append sequencer badge, submit a badge. Should be able to say non 62 here. This is giving me a nonce of uh, 129. So I can go in here, find console.log, and give this a nonce of 63. I don't understand why it's wrong. I mean, this, of course, is only going to work once. Submission. 
Das ist one. No, I don't think so. Because if that was the problem, then I don't know how it's getting these nonces, and I don't know why they're wrong. Um, returning wrong nonce. Did all those other transactions get mined or something? All the broken ones? Oh yeah, look. I mean, they all have errors, but they're all transactions. They're like getting mined. I don't know. Maybe we should just do that thing that I was gonna do where I just submitted them all. It seems like what happens is if you submit one nonce with a bad, if you submit one transaction with a bad gas price, they all get messed up. Um, let's see what happens if I remove the nonce and see what nonce it gives me. This is gonna go, go nuclear on this shit. It's 92, 130, I plus plus. Let's go, boys, let's go. Nonce I. Oh, don't bother waiting. Don't bother waiting, just submit all the transactions. Uh, and just for the walls just to go like that. You know what? It's cheap gas, we can go like that, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that should kind of like resynchronize the knots. So if I do it again, it should give me 131. Wait, yeah, I, I did them. Okay, 131. Not 130. I might have had to do 130 as well. Okay, we can just do 130 just in case. And that is why you don't use the wrong gas limit. We're up to 114, 123, still 123. Oh, look at all these blocks. Wow. If there's still no value submitted, I don't know what we did wrong. 124. Should we read this understanding nonce? Uh, are we up to like something reasonable yet? Okay, 131, perfect. Okay, so now it should submit with 132 and it should actually work. 132 submitted. That should mine. 133 submitted. And I assume that's like the, so it seems like there's two things it's gotta commit. It commits like the, transaction may fail or require manual gas limit. Can 
cannot estimate gas. Well, let's see if any of these things actually mine. 132 mined. We'll see if this works at all. Useless. Okay, we got tons of blocks, but all of them just, they don't really seem to contain any transactions, which doesn't exactly make sense. My transactions. I did deposits. The latest knots 134 so if I run this guy one time and one time only I'm gonna get 135 okay I get 135 that's actually gonna mine that's gonna show up in here well it makes its way through okay so that shows up in here. It's now gonna show up here as a transaction enqueued event. But I guess what I don't understand is why these transaction enqueues uh, don't actually produce any value. So which block was this mined in? This is the hash, so we can go here. I guess it's actually just the top transaction here probably. Yeah, in 135, so it was mined in 711. And if we look here, okay, 711. Okay, so it processed the NQ. Now it makes it, okay, updated F context from NQ, from that block number, we have a new block. Now this is gonna submit, okay, it already submitted the block. Okay. Uh, for some reason, sometime this gas limit thing fails. But it seems okay. It seems like it just tries again. Oh no, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so it submits that update and then it submits this update. Now, we're on here. Why does this thing not have any Why does this thing not have any uh, ETHs in my thing that I deposited all the ETHs into? If there are gaps and nonces, all next transactions sit in the mempool waiting for the gap to be filled. I say. Shouldn't this like give me the value? Go, oh, wait, it's very possible it's a config issue. If the TX is not, I mean, so it looks like the TXs are succeeding. Wait, what? What is this? Does it call this? In L2 get, it calls this. This wait for L1.sh. Because I don't think my address is .json. This isn't right. Deployer HTTP, I've never seen this before.
No, that's only called in Docker, but you just might be missing those. Okay, well, let's read start then. Um, yeah, I don't think any of those are in there. Do I really need them all? ETH1, okay, I bet you it's this. I bet you we don't have the ETH1 L1 gateway address. Let me see if that's even in there. Because I know this stuff is new. Yeah, uh, no wait, that's the wrong Go Ethereum, hang on. Cheap optimism, Go Ethereum, get grab. Ah, okay. Okay, I bet you it's this. ETH1 address resolver address, roll up address manager owner address. Okay. Let's put this guy there, set the address manager here, and then the OVM F gateway is this. Yeah, I think that was the problem. Oh, I didn't need to restart that, I need to restart this. Now I have no idea what's broken and what's not. Yeah, okay, so if you don't set this, it sets it to zero. That shouldn't be, that's, that's kind of a bug. Um, I would, I would just, I would just junk that out so it just crashes. Okay. So let's try that again. Deposit. Deposit passed. The new thing's gonna come in and hopefully this is now gonna actually check the L1 gateway. The real question is where'd all my ETH go? I, did, I, did I still miss this one? Okay, I still need this one too. No, I have L1 cross domain messenger address. I think I said it correctly. Yeah, I didn't set it to the proxy, I set it to this one. Wait. Okay, it got the transaction enqueued, it got the new block. Let's see if this time somehow it actually managed to put the thing in. No, it still has no transactions though. Oh, I need the proxy. Okay. Proxy cross domain messenger. This is brittle. Database contains incompatible Genesis. Okay, this doesn't sound great. Let's go. Okay, we resynced the chain. Oh, now that we've resynced the chain, maybe it works. And maybe all my ether's actually there. Hang on, maybe I didn't get scammed, boys. Maybe no scam. Fingers crossed, no scam, because we remind the blocks. Remind the blocks. No TXs. Mm, remind the blocks, remind the blocks. No, nothing. Mm, 
send some more. Did, they, did I set them all now? Address resolver, cross domain messenger, OVM L1 gateway. Oh, it is the proxy here. Okay, I can see it there. And then deployer. Oh, there's one called deployer, I see. Oh, deployer is me. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, we're resubmitting a batch. I mean, actually, I guess this batch submitter is just talking to Geth. So if Geth had it wrong, it submitted the wrong batch. Does that make sense? All right. Fingers crossed. Mm, doesn't look good. No, zero balance. Um, yeah, nothing. All right, like now I don't know. When is the, the value supposed to show up? How is this thing supposed to work? Let's try to understand it. Okay. Um, L1F gateway address. Really, this thing should just call the address manager. Can it not do that? Maybe it can. It should show up once it's in the data transport layer. Just this first one? Did I, maybe I got some stuff wrong there. No, that one uses the address manager though, right? So there, there shouldn't be anything wrong. Yeah, using address managers. That's not wrong. All right, let's junk that database just in case. There's some bugs. There's, that doesn't, that's stateless. Um, start. Okay, synchronizing all the stuff. And then I should see a corresponding log in Geth. Search finalize deposit in L2 Geth. Uh, okay, I see. So that's a test. It's here. Only from cross domain account. This call will fail if it didn't originate there. Okay. 
Re reset everything. Remind that. The block submitter should not have any blocks to submit. But this didn't even have anything to do with the block submitter, right? And there should be a log in get. How come I don't see a log? All right. I'm calling the OVM F1 gateway. Oh, well, okay, let's make sure that's address manager get address. OVM L1 gateway, L1 gateway, L1 wallet, seems right. And then I send the deposit. There's nothing in wait for deposit type transaction, right? Maybe I do need that. Nothing special in that. Okay, you're, you're sure? Well, actually, if that works, I should be able to, uh, let me figure out where the watcher is initialized. It's in like setup or something. Oh my God, was that the whole problem, by the way, that I didn't put HTTP before my L2 provider? That would be bullshit. Not by name init watcher. Okay, we mine the transaction. Now when it's weighted, okay, great. Uh, I don't know where any of these things are. I guess that's the L1 receipt. I think something's going wrong here. Get L2 transaction receipt. So there's some problem with get. Transaction. Here too, but yeah, it never gets the L2 transaction receipt. Or I don't know, I mean, maybe that just takes a long time. K 
Can you reopen the L1 ETH gateway contract? What's the gas limit that the deposit is sent with? Oh, this. But it's not reverting. It's like hard coded to something, but like it would be reverting if there was a problem. Right? It's creating the things. Guys, I'm a no coiner, okay? It's a life philosophy. I have some ideas. Let's look in this. Let's look in the bit in this uh, this RPC layer. Yeah, see this fails because it's never actually getting the L two transaction receipt. Get message hashes from L one TX, but it never it never actually shows up in in get. Uh, all right, so let's read this. Data target. Wait, so is this is this a deposit? Oh, inside of the contract limit contract itself, there's an L2 gas limit for the deposit. here. Default finalized deposit L2 gas. That. Is that enough gas or do we need more gas? How the hell am I supposed to debug any of this? This is why Cheap ETH had a pre-mine. <laughs> and mining. Is there anything in the L2 get logs? No, there's not. Oh, we can increase verbosity in get, okay. Should I do that? It's all in contracts. I don't even see anything in Go Ethereum for finalized deposit. Search for OVME. Okay, increase increase verbosity to six. Okay, I can do that. Um. Which is, how do I say it? Oh, IPC is disabled. No wonder that didn't work. Um, verbosity six. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. 
Yeah, I don't see any OVM stuff. Oh, yo. Yo, I bet this startup script doesn't have... Cock. It's the same problem. The startup script doesn't have this. Yup, yup. Uh, this was a new parameter, I guess. Yup, okay. Mm -hmm. ETH gateway address. And this has to come from here. Still nothing. Now, what are the other ones that I forget? ETH gateway address. ETH one chain ID, that's right. Address resolver address. Well, no, that might have even worked because. Okay. Either way. One ETH gateway address flag. Okay, do I have that? No one ETH gateway address. Um, scripts start dot sh. <laughs> L1 ETH gateway address. Okay, I do. L1 cross domain messenger address. Yes. We have that. It's set to the proxy. Uh, CTC deployment height. That's right. But okay, so I mean the problem might even be deeper than this because I don't see them in here. Unless this is the transaction that includes it. Well, actually you would have to include the address. So does this include F2? It does, yeah. So that must be the deposit there that's being sent. Um, and then I guess this is actually the deposit data.
The verbosity didn't get picked up, it seems. Okay. Ver. Oh, that has more stuff. Start.sh. Running command, and the command has verbosity six. Do you think there should be more stuff? I know it didn't look like there was a level six, so I changed it to five. Uh, roll up state dump path. What was Jar Hands complaining about? If it was stupid, we're gonna ban him for life. Um. I should be seeing more infos. Not really. What is this deposit that I'm supposedly supposed to see? Well, let's figure out where it uses this. Um, cross domain messenger. These are all the contracts here. Okay, so this is part of the Genesis block now. I can see this, can't I? But yeah, it should be printing all of these log info things. And I don't see it doing that. Oh, here we go. Setting address manager owner, setting LVM, OVM01 cross domain messenger to the proxy, setting L1 Weath gateway. Is that just a typo or am I supposed to send Weath or something? That seems right. <laughs> okay, it's a typo. It looks like the transactions are there. It just doesn't look like, like so th these things should be handled by that special thing in Geth, right? Um, 
There should, there should be some like like interaction in Geth that does the uh... well, it has to be well I mean Weath is a real thing too right no 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 no, no. See, <laughs> this is making me believe in Chief Eath. <laughs> this is making me seriously believe in Chief Eath. Chief Eath simple. Chief Eath live. Let's look at this L1 ETH gateway address. That's great that it's in the Genesis block. Okay, here we go. Apply OVM state to state. Oh, sorry, I'll make the text a little bigger. It's hard for me to read too. Okay, so it sets these things up and then to block range G alloc. I don't know what that is. Oh, this is probably where it like builds those initial contracts. The tags got bigger. It's bigger tags, I swear. Um no, so this 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 deposit contract has to exist somewhere in it has to be somewhere in 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 Go Ethereum. Uh, probably in the stuff that's processing the OVM. We'll go back to Genesis and then L1 gateway slot. OVM ETH. What's OVM ETH? Did I tell it that? dump account. Oh, dot address. Okay, OVM ETH is that. Which I guess, okay, so that's a deployed contract. So if, if I go in here, to this, I should be able to actually go to that. So that's where you stuck your secret contracts. Okay, 
That's a contract, OVME. Now, for some reason, it's also deployed on the other guy, but... Okay, it's got to be in that thing. It's It's got to be... It's got to be in the state manager, right? Like here, OVM state manager, right? Call state manager. Yo, I gotta go in like an hour, boys. Mm. And we'll definitely go into the state manager, okay. it's quick to remine this whole little blockchain. That's an advantage. Cheap Eats got to, you know. Okay. So it's calling the state manager. That's good. It's calling the state manager a shit ton of times. Um, you do input. Contract on address. Uh, dot hex. Jar hands is back gifting subs. Jar hands is the, the, the hater that turned himself around. He went from being a hater to gifting subs. And he might also be the first person who ever gifted subs to get banned. Because I don't know what he was hating about. You know, we do have a saying around here, once a hater, always a hater. But jar hands might prove that saying wrong. And that would be amazing. He has found salvation. That's good. We should tell speculators to find salvation. Kevalicious gifted 10 as well. Wow, so many sub gifts. All right, called state manager. Normal, <coughs> normalized odd number of arguments by adding nil. I don't really know what that means. Okay, well. What does searching for OVM ETH in get logs get you? What do you mean by get logs? Do you mean like just what's printing here? Where are my get logs? I don't see anything. You see OVM ETH? I see a lot of calls to the state manager. Gotta deposit again if I restart Geth? Wait, what do you mean? No, I'm killing the chain every time. So I'm remining the whole chain. No, and all I see is new block. Did I clean the DB? What do, you, what do you mean did I clean the DB? I 
we have to change verbosity to four. Okay, don't make it five. Got to make it four. Uh, oh, look at this. What a scam. Verbosity was set there to three. Now it's five. That's right. Okay, we got verbosity now. We should see more debugs. Yeah, okay, all right, now we got verbosity. Here we go. OVM execution failed, huh? Okay, okay, look, look at how promising this is. OVM execution failed. Why did it fail? Yeah, I knew, okay, that, that makes more sense. So here, we, we, we'll, we'll mine a block. We'll do, we'll do a transaction and we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, the problem is the verbosity in the start script is actually, it's, it's, it's not in the command, it's, it's, at, the, it's at the end. That, that script has been the source of a lot of problems for me. Okay, debugging is less ridiculous now that we have real, uh, real stuff. Okay, it's probably serving all this to my expedition. Expedition was Eddie Bauer edition. Okay, here we go. So we found the problem and it's OVM execution failed. Now, why the OVM execution failed? Well, that one I don't know. Prime transaction to dead, 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 dead five. Is that right? You know what? I got a theory. I'm gonna try one here. I don't know why, but I just kind of like the idea of one. That's the execution manager. No, still failed. Oh, dead, 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 dead five is the execution manager. Okay, so that's normal. Uh, all right, let's see if we can figure out why it failed. Reach the end of an OVM execution. No, I won't. Talk. Turn data. What's the error? Error. OVM execution failed. Okay, why does that happen? If we didn't get to the target contract, oh, is it gas? I have an idea, big gas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got a thousand gas. Let's go. We got a thousand. We got. I just, I just. I just gave it a thousand times more gas. OVM execution failed. No. Why is it failing? Okay, I guess, I mean, that could be a bajillion things done. We'll take out my gas hack. Uh, we get to 
syntax error. <laughs> Uh, not original target reached. Program execution manager address. Is that the right number of deads? String to lower address dot hex. What is the F1 L1 cross domain messenger address? Um, it's this, it's the proxy. It's the proxy OVM cross domain messenger. Is that right? Or should I not use the proxy? Is OVM failed before or after hitting? Well, I don't know why I'm getting no pointers now. Proxy is right, okay. I mean, it's definitely calling into the execution manager. I don't see anything that says OVM EVM. No, the channel moderation settings are a secret. And if you're saying something that interferes with them, you're probably saying something stupid. Uh, OVM execution failed. Calling unknown contract. What is contract for? It's like a special Ethereum contract, right? Oh, see, there we go. You're violating the, uh... The identity. Copies the input data to the output. Okay, so that's a real contract. Put contract storage. Yeah, it's the identity pre -compile. Okay. Why does it fail? The only thing I can think is that this data is not being parsed correctly. Like this one somehow has a different build from what Geth is thinking. Like maybe this isn't right. So I imagine that's what it's being used for, right? Can I generate this somewhere else? Right, OVML2 cross domain messenger. Need to set F L one 
I am. I'm setting that. Try 1.json. I've tried 1.json and I get the same stuff. Try going into the contracts repo. Okay. Uh, contracts yarn serve. VM execution failed, same shit. Could this thing be wrong? Where is this getting it from? Packages X domain. Where am I getting that data from? No, it's no, because that's emitting the right, that's emitting the right stuff. Yeah, it's just like it's 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 running it it seems it just doesn't work. I deleted the gas change, yeah. Did you change the chain ID in the state dump? This has a chain ID? Well, now I did. Is that what you mean by the state dump? I changed it in contracts. Like I did build cheapies. Oh, but I don't think I said, okay. Is that gonna be different? Wait, it's supposed to be that chain ID? No, I don't think so. Because this is not that chain. Because you're using chain ID 10 for the main net. Got to use yarn builds. What's my chain ID in my geth environment? In my geth environment, it's 777. Or no, maybe it's... This F1 chain ID is 777 and the chain ID is 96. Okay, um, yeah, so where's it hard coded now? I built the contracts with chain ID. Okay, okay. No, I did that though. I, I did that.
same error. I just did that. But you're telling me this has the chain ID in it. I don't think this is being set. I think I need this. Um... Uh, if I don't have this, it's not going to work, right? If you pull in that, you can overwrite the chain ID stored in state dump. No, but I redid the state dump. I redid the state dump and that didn't fix it. Okay, so this has the right one now. Does this have the right one now? Does, does, does this cross domain have the right one? Here, 60, now that should be right. I don't know if that 60 is actually a chain ID, but This OVM L1 gateway should have the correct chain ID compiled into it because that's what I deployed. I changed the chain ID when I built the contracts repo. I set the chain ID to 777 when I built the contracts repo. I set the chain ID to 777 when I built the contracts repo. So maybe it's that. No, I have to redeploy. Or maybe this will work. Same bug. Uh, no, wait. So there I set the chain ID to 96. Is that the most recent deployment? It is, yeah. The most recent deployment, the chain ID was 96. I want the logs from the geth. at that data, right? I want to apply that data to that contract. Which contract is that? 
that. Well, I should be able to look in here. Find this guy. Here we go, OVM Execution Manager. So I don't know which. Chain ID 96, yarn build, yarn serve. Delete the geth, restart the geth. Geth is the only thing that reads from that thing, which is deploying all those, all those contracts. Still saying OVM execution failed. I don't think this sends a chain ID. In fact, those things that are being used to deposit, it's, a, it's just gonna be a value. Well, why is that so long if it's only a value? Post this one in a chest. I see so there's a slot in the execution manager and that slot in the execution manager is what uh yes i set the gateway address uh and i can see that getting set in the beginning of the genesis block if you scroll like all the way up in this thing i mean now it's kind of harder but I would spend a lot of time. What I'm going to do is like, okay, so let's, that thing is called the OVM execution manager, right? If this is reverting, it should give me a revert reason. Making errors work. Um... Really use, let's say, safe chain ID. Like, wouldn't I see that? Right, how do I get that? If that were true. Well, I need some solidity syntax highlighting. Uh... Logins. Um, package. No, what? I don't know how to use this. Install plugin manager. Extensions. Uh, 
All extensions, small extension in the marketplace, solidity. thing to go that was doing the safe requires. Yeah, I mean you, you can you can get a, what's what's the address of my execution manager? Uh I'll post all the addresses. Actually, I guess you only need the uh, address manager. It completes, you think the error is a mistake. Okay. Then where's my money? <laughs> switch over right now to our optimism on yo yo we got we got point one we got point one beautiful l2 seath right here oh this shit's fire okay let's send some let's send some over here to who wants some who wants to no this is annoying for you to sync but if you set up an L2 node, this is all live right now on Cheapy. Let's fucking go. All right, so let's send some to account one. Let's send 0 0.01 and we can use a small gas price. Now, oh, invalid sender. Well, I don't know about that. Why is it an invalid sender? You can't send ETH natively. It's an ERC-20 on L2. Send. How, wait, how do I spend gas then? Test here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get it. How do I send it? So this whole thing I was trying to do this whole time. It doesn't work. It transfers ERC-20s. See Weath, baby. Wait, oh, add token. Oh, and then what's the address? Okay, I can do this. Oh, I'm not backing up shit. I just want to check something. MetaMask is trash. I need big MetaMask. Big MetaMask. Okay, add token. All right, real quick, add this. Custom token. Token contract address, OE Weath. Okay, wow, it's already supported in a Meta. Oh no, I guess it just queried it. Add tokens. Yo, I got some OE Weath. All right, let's send it over to contract one. But I don't have any gas. What just happened? Invalid sender. Let's 
Send owie. <laughs> so wait, how do I, what, why does this work? Why does that fail? MetaMask is like blinking something and I see it almost work. Check OVM ETH adder in state dump. <laughs> it's probably messing with your chain ID. Oh, oh, no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. I don't think I set the right chain ID. Um, networks. Yeah, 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 I set the wrong chain ID. Good point, good point. 96, let's go. Okay, now we're gonna send some OWETH over here. We're gonna send one OWETH. We're gonna do it with one GUI. Yo, that just worked. Yo. <laughs> All right, so now I would expect over here on account one, if I add a token, a custom token, of course, with this, I have one owie. <laughs> Yo, this stuff works great. Never mind, L2 is great. You just need to give up and just accept that you all you have is owie. Wait, who just gave me more owie? Thank you for the owie. You actually got this synced. All right, guys. I think this is a pretty good note to end the stream on. This is the new toad. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, I will set up. Um. I will set up a, uh, I will set up a shitty digital ocean box that runs this stuff. And then you'll be able to, um, <laughs> to move your ETH to, to L2. <laughs> Y'all right, that thing is like a little app, we'll have fun. Um, <laughs> yo. People tell me that my emotional state is linked to whether the code works or not. It's true. <laughs> you can move your money even further, yo. Yo, but guys, all I'm saying is I think this doubles the value of cheap ETH. I got rated on how many people we got. Yo, I'm almost done though. I got, I got stuff to do tonight. I got rated? Stop posting your addresses. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna send you an Owieth. And if you figure out how to get this Owieth, congratulations, you're Owieth rich. I'm gonna send you 10 Owieth, okay? If you actually figure out how to get those Owieth, I'm gonna be super impressed. <laughs> Owieth are the most worthless thing. <laughs> I sent, I sent both of you. <laughs> you want some owie here? I'll send you some owie. Wait, I guess I don't really understand. Why is it going down so much? Wait. <laughs> Are the gas fees an owie? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you're never going to get any owie. Who spammed the same address twice? <laughs> you're a subscriber. I'm going to send you... I'm going to send you a hundred owie. <laughs> Yo, are you guys ready? We're going to do a token sale for who gets to be the sequencer on GB. <laughs> No, that's it. We're not giving out any more owie. Yo, this stuff works great. Check it out. Look. Wait, are there transactions in these blocks? 
Transactions five. Well, look, we can use a normal block explorer. This stuff is great. Um, all right. You're gonna quit your job to be an owie miner. That's a good choice. Uh, I kind of gotta go. I'll, I'll post the. I'll post the. It's uh... <laughs> four Owie. Yo, Owie has a pre mine, boys. Um, no, I, I will stand up. I will stand up l2.gpeth.org and then you'll be able to use l2.gpeth.org. Um, Cheapeth is, is the most ahead of the game network. We have L2s before everybody. <laughs> it's a funny name. Uh, why not create a cheap coin for every crypto? Because except for Ethereum, every crypto is so useless. Name something you can do with another crypto, except maybe buy drugs with Monero. Monero and Ethereum. Did you miss the fun rant? Who's the founder of Cheapy? Goku1997. Uh, guys, stop posting your addresses. Owie. So, to be fair, someone stole 30 cents. So, you know, I, I won't put it, I won't put it uh, below anybody to, uh, to steal. How useful is eight on a scale from zero to zero? <laughs> um, why use Cheapeth over Testnet? Dude, Testnets suck. You know what the problem with Testnets are? They get reset, they don't have any value. Cheapeth has a small amount of value. Cheap is better than free, right? No, it really is though. Here's today's rant. If someone's giving you beer for free, it's because they like want something from you, right? There's no such thing as free beer, right? It's like, it's like, oh, you gotta go to this like real estate seminar where they pitch you on a timeshare in exchange for a beer. And you're like, that's not fucking worth it. But imagine you go to a bar and they're like, beers are two bucks. That's what you want, right? No New York ass $12 beer. You want a $2 beer, right? You want beer to be cheap, you know? When I was in Argentina, I smoked cigarettes. You know why? Cigarettes were $1.50 a pack, right? Cheap cigarettes, right? Um, that's why you want cheap and not free, and that's why cheap ETH is better than test nets. Uh, yo, cheap ETH. All right, we got anything else to discuss? I have two more minutes. No, I gotta shower, I gotta go. Thank you all for watching my stream today. Optimism, I'll see you guys next week. I believe in you. Yo, we pulled that, we really pulled that stuff out at the 11th hour, but we did it. And you know, this is gonna be on mainnet, whenever you guys put it on mainnet. Uh, but it's on Cheap ETH first, so Cheap ETH. <laughs> see you guys next week streamers thank you all for watching uh, make sure to you know you know what just like join the cheap ETH party join the discord use cheap ETH for your projects enjoy cheap ETH spread the cheap ETH spirit which is ethereum is for everybody not just for whales you can play even if you're not a whale thank you all for watching good night